Good day everyone! Today, we are going to tackle the literary piece written by Rolando Santos Dino entitled Valediction of Hillcrest. But before that, let us first have a brief description or background of the author. Rolando Santos Dino was born in Gagalangin, Tondo, Manila on March 5, 1937. He was a Filipino poet, dramatist, director, actor, critic, essayist, and educator. Rolando Tino is a Philippine national artist for theater and literature. As a child, Tino was fond of organizing and directing his playmates for costume celebrations. He was an active participant in the Filipino movie industry and enjoyed working with Philippine celebrities who himself had admired in his childhood. Tino himself became a film actor and script writer. In the mid-1960s, Tino decided to try writing in Tagalog and the product of this trial was the collection of poems now called Bagay. Rolando Tino was the sole inventor of Taglish or Tagalog and English in Philippine poetry. Through this, he gave an authentic tone to the poetry of the native middle class Filipino. As I have mentioned earlier, Valediction sa Hillcrest is a poem written by Rolando Tino. When we say Valediction, it is an act of bidding goodbye. So, this poem is about a person leaving from New York and going back to the Philippines. The person is having a dilemma to decide between two places, which is Tondo and New York, and how it affects his whole being. The author writes his thoughts and experiences in a very descriptive and creative way. Other than that, the poem also uses two different languages, which is English and Tagalog. The reason why these two languages were used is because of the two nations or countries he is going back to and leaving. The poem is rather complex because it uses two languages. Thus, this creates a unique form of writing in which, as we further discuss this poem, we'll learn how he utilizes these languages in relation to the persona's situation in life. Since this poem is very much tricky to read, um, it's hard to combine English and Tagalog words in a poem, so I'm just gonna read it to you in order for me to deliver it properly with the proper pronunciation. This poem is entitled Valediction Sahil Crest by Rolando Tinio. Well, collect na railway express sa aking things, diretso na iyon sa barko while I take the plane. Inakyat kong muli ang N311 at dahil dead of winter, nakatop coat at galoshes akong nag-right turn sa N-wing ng mahagang dilim. Tunnel yata nga abot sa tundo. Kinapa ko ang switch sa hall. Sa isang pitik, nag-shrink ang imaginary tunnel. Nagparang ataol or kinikong. Strangely absolute ang impression ng hilera ng mga pintong nagprosesyon. Individual identification. Parang mommy causes. Di nameplate. Di numero. Di hometown address. Antiseptic ang atmosphere. Streamlined yet e-filing cabinet. Filing? Hindi naman death sa. Remembrances? Oo. Yung Medyo malapot dahil alam mo na, I'm quitting the place after two and a half years. After two and a half years, di man nagkatsyampong mag-ugat, ika nga, syempre naging attached. Parang morning glory mahirap mapaknit sa alambreng trellis. At pagkabukas ko ng kwarto, hubot-hubad na ang mattresses. Wala ng kutsyon ang easy chair. Mga drawer ng bureau ay nakanganga. Sabay-sabay na nag-o-oration, nagkahiyaan, nabara. Of course, tuloy ang radiator sa pag -aralgat. Nasa New York na si Bob and the two Allens. Yung mga quarterbacks across the hall, pihadong panay sa desmuenes. Don and Constance aren't coming back at all. 
Gusto ko mang magpaalam. But to whom? The drapes? The wash bowls? Sa double decker na pinaikot-ikot namin ni Candace Wami? To create space. Hopeless. Talagang impossible. Of course, tuloy ang radiator sa paglagotok. And the above silence, nakakaiyak kung sumagot. Bueno, let's get it over with. It's a long walk to the depot. Tama na ang sophistication. Sa steep incline pababa sa highway, where all things level, sabi nga, there is a flurry and gentle gentle. Pag whoosh whoosh ng paako, the snow melts right under. Nagtutubig parang asukat. Humuhulas, nagsisintimento.